Today we're going to do a walk around of the Cam Spray 3040 QH Extreme Duty Pressure Washer. This model is driven by a GX390 Honda engine and develops 4 gallons per minute, 3000 psi. We'll just uh, cover some of the finer points of this machine and what makes it extreme duty. Uh, some of its uh, added features on the service side. Down here we've got an hour meter so that you can keep track of, of hours and get the service done in a timely fashion. The battery on this machine, we use a spiral gel cell battery. Uh, no battery acid to leak out, as well as easy to transport. Uh, won't make a mess of things and gel cells also have a longer life. This is a group 24 deep cycle. And then we've also got a battery trickle charge system on it. So if you're going to leave it sit for longer periods of time, you can plug it in and make sure the battery keeps charge. Moving up here, we've got a hose on the engine so you can make it easy to do oil changes by draining the oil. We also offer a hydrant wrench right next to that hose there. That hydrant wrench we include because a lot of these at job sites have keyed hydrants so you can't turn the water on. So we keep the hydrant wrench handy. And then we've got a 9 gallon diesel fuel tank for the burner. You've got inlet water filter. You've got an unloader valve for pressure adjustment and bypass safety. Anytime you let the trigger gun go, it bypasses the water back to the inlet of the pump. You've got a pressure gauge. And then down on the side of the manifold here, we've got a, a temp valve that if you actually run the machine and then you shut the trigger gun off and leave it set for an extended period of time without pulling the trigger, the water in the manifold will start to increase temperature. But if the temperature gets above 140, it'll automatically open up and let cold water come in. This pump is a gearbox drive pump, so we've got RPMs more in line with some of the slower speed electric models, and that adds to pipe pump longevity. So on the engine, on this side, we've got our throttle and our choke levers. We've got a backup recoil start. We've got a key switch where you start the, start the engine. And then here we've got a watertight box that has the on-off switch for the burner and also an adjustable thermostat to give us temperatures up to 195 degrees. On the discharge line, we've got a flow switch. So if you actually trigger the gun and shut the, shut the gun off, it will cycle the burner as well. So when there's no water flowing, the burner shuts off. Here we've got a secondary pop-off. So that secondary pop-off pop adds extra protection to the pump in case of an overpressurization. So if the unloader fails, the secondary pop-off will kick in. And here on the discharge line, we've got a chemical injector. It's an adjustable downstream low pressure injector. Maximum injection rate on this is about 20 to 1. And here on this, we've got the quick coupler that you attach your hose to. On this side, we've got our trigger gun, insulated trigger gun, 50 foot of non marking hose in 3 8. We've got four interchangeable nozzles 0, 15, 25, and 40. Those are plugged into this quick coupler on the discharge. And then also, on the second tube, we've got a larger tip that gives you your low pressure, about 250 PSI for chemical injection. And you control that with the side handle on the wand. As you loosen it, it drops all the water diverted to this lower tube, dropping it down to about 250 PSI, and you apply chemical. If you need more information on the Cam Spray 3040 QH Extreme Duty Pressure Washer or the 3040 QD Extreme Duty Pressure Washer. Just go to our website at camspray.com or just give us a call at 800-648-5011. We'd be glad to answer any questions for you. Thanks for your time.